Um, now, also the famous Shang Han Lun expert Liu Zhuzhou. Uh, yes, Shang Han Lun experts do use other formulas sometimes. He said that the author of the Shang Han Lun, Zhang Zhongjing, liked to use in his treatments of pivoting between opening and closing. So Tai Yang opens, Yang Ming closes, and Xiao Yang is the pivot. Li Dongyuan, though, uh, the Shang Han Lun expert, Liu Du Zhou said, and I'm going to be using lots of his case histories. Liu Du Zhou is famous. Have everybody heard of him? No? Yeah, some of you have. Liu Du Zhou, he's contemporary. He's, he only died 10 years ago or something. Very, very well known. So Liu Du Zhou said that Li Dongyuan liked to use Sheng Jiang. Sheng Jiang is ascent and descent. So you want to sheng, qing yang, clear yang, right? So the ascent of clear yang. But you also want to jiang, which is often described as direct downwards or drive downwards. You just want to descend zhuo yin, the murky, the murky yin. Now Liu Zhuzhou really liked to use Li Dongyuan's formula. So we'll be looking at lots of his case histories today. And he said, in clinic, I've realized that because Li Dongyuan's formulas lift clear yang and they drive down turbid yin, they eliminate dampness and drain fire, these formulas can be used for many types of head, face, and sense orifice problems. But they're also good for treating the hands and feet. He said, I had a case once of this weeping eczema. It had this fluidy exudate and ulceration, which turned out to be due to clear yang unable to reach out to the end of the limbs. And I, li, I use Li Dongyuan's formulas to clear it up. So he said to his students, this is Liu Zhuzhou, said to his students one day, he was taking a pulse, and he said, look, you have to study Li Dongyuan's methods, and especially his focus on ascent and descent. You need to know how to lift clear yang and when to lift clear yang. Very often, he said, Spleen and stomach disorders will have a bit more dampness or a bit more heat or a bit more deficiency and, uh, and or deficiency will be the obvious thing. Or there might be dampness and heat, but there won't be much. The dampness will be more obvious than the heat or vice versa. So based on your differentiation, in one treatment you should lift yang a bit more or clear heat a bit more or tonify spleen chi a bit more or clear dampness a bit more. So. Then he gave a rule of thumb for choosing between uh, these formulas. So this is in your notes, but this is a good one to bear in mind. And it's not, you know, these aren't the only formulas, of course. But if it's mainly deficiency, if it's mainly deficiency, Bu Zhong Yi Qi Tang is a bit better for treating that. Tiao Zhong Yi Qi Tang, which is regulate the middle to benefit the Qi formula, is somewhat better for treating dampness. Bu Pi Wei Xie Xin Huo Sheng Yang Tang, which is <laughs> tonify spleen and stomach, drain heart fire, lift yang decoction. <laughs> That's why I'm laughing. It's just he didn't mind how long his formula is. Sheng Yang San Huo Tang. These both treat heat. Sheng Yang's lift yang to San Huo to disperse fire. And uh, they both treat heat. Uh, Shengyang Yi Wei Tang treats deficiency, dampness, and heat. And I have to say that last one is one of my favorite formulas. Use it all the time.